Hey everyone, welcome back to our vlog today. We're taking you along on our spring break adventure in sunny Florida. We're here with three families ready to make some unforgettable memories. From Georgia, we finally made it to Florida early morning. First, we stopped by our cozy Airbnb where everyone was happy with beautiful house and checking all rooms and toys to play. Time to fuel up with a delicious lunch before hitting the beach. The excitement of exploration filled the air as the kids eagerly selected their rooms. Each room held the promise of adventure, secrets waiting to be discovered, and cozy corners for dreams to unfold. Our Airbnb house has four bedrooms, two bathrooms, a crib for babies, bunk beds for grown-ups, and even inflatable mattresses. The clean outdoor area adds to the charm. Well-equipped kitchen has truly enhanced the Airbnb experience. Our hosts ensure everything we need for a delightful culinary adventure, so we don't have to skip our own Nepali foods. But before we hit the beach, we made a quick stop at grocery store for some local shopping. We stumbled upon some fresh, locally grown asparagus and potatoes, perfect for our barbecue later, supporting local farmers and enjoying the flavors of Florida. On our first day, we headed to Walton Beach, eager to kick off our vacation with some fun in the sun. Despite the windy weather, we made the most of our time, enjoying the sights and sounds of the beautiful shoreline. Families can enjoy activities like beach volleyball, kite flying, and renting paddleboards or kayaks for water adventures. This beach also has restrooms and showers to clean off the sands. Walton Beach, Florida is a paradise of white sands and crystal clear waters. As the sun kisses the horizon, I step onto the pristine sands of Walton Beach. The grains beneath my feet are like powdered sugar soft, inviting, and as white as the clouds above. I'm completely lost in the beauty of this beach. It's not a crowded place so I enjoy the most with my friends Manab and Cam. The Gulf of Mexico has remarkably clear waters, and several factors contribute to this natural wonder. Coctahuachi Bay filter. The Gulf's clarity owes much to the Coctahuachi Bay. As freshwater rivers flow into the salty Gulf, the less dense river water floats on top. The bay acts as a filter, trapping sediment and brackish waters, ensuring the Gulf remains crystal clear dirts. Unlike some other regions, the Gulf has managed nutrient levels. High nitrogen levels can lead to algae overgrowth, depleting oxygen and harming marine life. Efforts to control nutrient runoff help maintain water clarity. The Gulf's unique soil and geological conditions play a role. For instance, the lower Black Warrior River watershed faces challenges due to difficult soil conditions for septic systems, impacting water quality. This is the reason I always want to come to this beaches. If you are making a plan to visit Florida, I would suggest to visit Gulf of Mexico beaches for white sands and crystal clear water. I love Florida from my heart. Nothing beats soaking up the sun and salty water on a perfect day. I am inhaling salty air, exhaling pure serenity beach therapy at its finest. Gathering at the water's edge, we couldn't resist the urge to recreate those cherished memories. Like carefree boys once more, we kicked off our shoes and raced along the shoreline, our bare feet sinking into the soft, warm sand. With each step, the cares of the world melted away, replaced by an exhilarating sense of freedom and joy.
Endless hours we reveled in the simple pleasure of abilities. With each passing moment a tapestry of shared experiences and cherished moments with splashing water. Sunset and beach are beautiful. Arian enjoyed writing his name in sands. This beautiful sunset reminds me a song, we'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when. But I know we'll meet again, some sunny day. Until we meet again under the warm rays of the sun, take care and enjoy the beauty of life. After returning from a day at Walton Beach, the kids were hungry and eagerly indulged their taste buds with homemade French fries. Their joy at being together was great. Meanwhile, our master chef Manab was busy grilling asparagus and potatoes for dinner, and my wife was busy for tasting the food. We put on aprons and cooked together, laughing as we mixed ingredients. The kitchen smelled amazing with grilled asparagus and tomatoes with Nepali-style salads. The room felt magical, like our private ballroom. Our second day, we headed to Pensacola Beach. Pensacola Beach, situated off the coast of Pensacola on Santa Rosa Island in northwest Florida, is a coastal gem known for its lively atmosphere, emerald green waters, and soft whites and beaches. We can drive directly to Pensacola Beach via the scenic Pensacola Bay Bridge, or take ferry across Pensacola Bay for a fun start to your adventures. For this time we drove directly from bridge. Pensacola Beach knows how to keep you entertained, catch live music at local restaurants, and watch out for special events throughout the year. In July and November, the U.S. Navy Blue Angels perform thrilling air shows in the sky. If you're traveling in this month, don't miss this out. Finally, we are at Beach, a place where the sand is soft, the water is crystal clear, and laughter fills the air. Little ones built and castle, collected seashells, and chased seagulls. Their giggles echoed as they played by the shore. Adults kicked off their shoes and play in sands with little kids. Some jumps in waves, while others strolled hand in hand. Everyone shared the joy. After a sun-soaked day at Pensacola Beach, we drove along the scenic coastal road to our cozy Airbnb. The sky blushed blue, and the ocean waved farewell. As the sun set, we arrived at our snug haven, leaving sandy footprints on the floor. A day of adventure and magic continued. On our third day, we explored Destin Beach, Florida. 
The delightful Destin Beach and the charming Margaret Avil Village Shopping Center has little bits of everything. Whether it's paddle boarding, fishing, or simply strolling along the shore, Destin Beach offers something for everyone. After our exciting exploration, we hopped on a boat to see dolphins. The ride was the best part. We sipped complimentary drinks, grooved to the music and excitement to see dolphins. Everybody's telling me to find a career And I'll be rolling my eyes Thinking I'll be alright with my guitar by my side But now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill And a tenner for my bus pass too I wish I could go back and tell myself that Life is gonna hit you hard They say money won't buy you happiness But being broke really ain't a good time So all I want is just to get paid I know I ain't ashamed of trying to make a wage now Dolphins are super smart. They have big brains and can solve puzzles, recognize themselves in mirrors, and even understand human gestures. Dolphins love company. They live in tight-knit groups called pods. Imagine having friends who swim with you all day.
Dolphins can jump 20 feet. They are night owls. They rest one half of their brain at a time while swimming isn't interesting. If you're planning a boat ride in Destin, Florida, I highly recommend purchasing your tickets online. Not only is it convenient, but you can also save some money in the process. Everybody told me you can be whatever you want to be. So I told myself, I'm a be a singer, I'm a play on the keys. I can do whatever I want if I just believe. Yeah, but then over the years, everybody's telling me to find a career. And I'll be rolling my eyes, thinking I'll be your ride with my guitar by my side. But now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill and a tether for my bus pass too. I could go back and tell myself that life is gonna hit you hard. They say money won't buy you happiness, but being broke really ain't a good time. So all I want is just to get paid. I know I ain't ashamed of trying to make a wage now. Dolphins are curious and friendly. They often approach boats, showing off their smiles. No wonder kids adore them. They send out clicks and listen for echoes to find food. It's like having built-in sonar. Ancient Greeks thought dolphins carried souls to the afterlife. Romans believed they were sacred. Imagine dolphins as soul guides. So guys, next time you spot a dolphin, remember they're not just cute. They're clever, social, and full of surprises.
offered opportunity for kids to steer the boat which adds an exciting and memorable element to the experience for them. Even though it's cold, it's great that the kids still want to enjoy the water on their final day of our spring break vacation. Exploring one of the islands and finding a beautiful spot to splash around sounds like a perfect way to end the trip. It's wonderful that they're making the most of their time in Destin and creating unforgettable memories and headed back to our Airbnb. As the sun sets on our trip, we enjoyed a delicious dinner followed by some Nepali music and dancing. It was the perfect way to conclude our adventure in Florida. Thanks for joining us on this journey. If you like the video, please do subscribe and share.